Hi, this is Chris from Chris Loves Crochet and Crochet Recreations. And first of all, let me apologize for being so late on announcing the winner for the giveaway. I did keep it open until just like yesterday. Um, and the reason being, this was a giveaway because my grandbaby was coming and you know, they have schedules of their own. And so grandbaby came early. And so I left town for a couple of weeks. And so, and so I'm just now catching up and um, I did pull the winner, but just to remind you what we have here, Bernat blanket, 100% uh, polyester. This is a number six and it is, I can never find the yardage, 220 yards. So you can make like a little lap, little baby blanket, little lap again. Um, and two of these gray polyester Bernat baby blanket tiny um, and they are number fours and they have each have about 316 yards so you've got 632 yards to do something with Bernat baby blanket tiny very soft very soft um, a couple of Mandela sparkles that have a, the same color, the best I could, I think, on the inside pole so that you have a nice um, even stream if you use the, the two of them together to make something for, for baby or for yourself or for anybody else. But look at the sparkle on that. Can you see it? Sparkle, sparkle. And then I got, well, you're, somebody's going to get... Um, a couple of, is there yellow in the middle there? Did I miss it? There's a little bit of yellow in the middle of this. I thought I had them all perfect. I'm sorry, Crystal. Um, so this is Bernat Baby Soft Stripes. And this is also, this is a number three. And each one of these have 287. So this is just under 600 yards of this. Um, very soft, very yummy, 100% acrylic, but very, very soft. And to go along with this, if you want to make a lovey with it, or just because you love platypuses or platypi or however you want to say it, little eyeballs in there somewhere. See the little eyeballs? See the little platypus? Hello, hello, which way should I go? Hello, hello. It's a little platypus that matches these colors perfectly. So you can use it with it or not. And to make a little lovey, I've seen, um, oh, what's her name? Oh, what's her name? I can't remember. She works for the post office, JR7 something something. I don't know. Anyway, she put, she, I showed, I didn't show, she showed a way that she'd made a lovey is with a, with a rubber band or a hair tie around the middle. And then, so you start off with a hair tie and then you make a granny square off of it and you can pull it on. And then you have, you don't have to do the amigurumi. You've already got the little little guy to go with it. So if you want a little shortcut on a little lovey, that's one to do. And then also just to throw in, I've got some rattles. You hear that? There are five rattles and then five teething rings. Um, 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 yarn Utopia. I forget her name. I am really bad with names. It must be the, the uh, sleep deprivation from being with the baby. She is the sweetest baby. Her name is Freya and she's so precious. Um, anyway, I digress. But um, um, when, oh, what's her name from Yarn Utopia, she made some teething rings when she was, she was expecting. And these are the kind that she got. And she said all she needed to do was just boil them in some water and um, then you can just use it for something for the baby. So I'm gonna put those in here, this little bag, along with these little rattles. And that is, so we've got that, and these two, Bernat Blanket Tiny, Got these softy baby stripes, Bernat with the platypus. Can't forget the platypus. There he is. And then put him right here. You can't see him. 
and then some mandala sparkle very very soft and very very sparkly Woo! and then of course some some things to make some unique little things for your little little ones in your life so you want to know who won huh you want to know who won winner is june little june little she says congrats on your new grandbaby coming i just made booties and baby blankets not exciting except it was for my daughter's baby and we never thought she'd have any she's 43 isn't that wonderful ella rose is five months old now so i'm sure she's doing a lot of crocheting for ella rose and hopefully this will come in handy so june little please um email me at um chris loves crochet at gmail dot com and it's also down in the uh, description is my email so please email me directly to let me know what your snail mail is so i can send this out to you and again i apologize that it that it took a little bit longer but you know babies they have their own schedule so um so thank you for your time i hope that that was that was fun and um if you didn't win this one good luck on the next one i'm sure i'll have another one soon there's a little platypus and we have a choice so please when you can choose happy bye